I'm sorry. I apologize to y'all. I know y'all wanted to see me drop off cash. Like I said, if Michael Jordan was supposed to 1v1 Derrick Rose and he back out and he don't show up, y'all going to say Michael Jordan is shook. Y'all going to say he's scared. He's, he's this. He's that. Even though we know Michael Jordan was going to beat Derrick Rose. But I get it. That's the same thing with Cash. Everybody knew I was going to win. Cash Nasty made a video. I'm an underdog. He trying to make it clear just in case if he lose. Everybody assume that he's an underdog. All of a sudden, you an underdog, Cash? You an underdog now? What happened to your bio? What happened to your Twitter bio? The best 2v2 players in the world. What happened to all that? You said you was a god. I didn't play Cash Nasty for all y'all that just coming in here. Let me make this clear right now. I ain't play Cash Nasty because I chose not to. It's that simple. I wasted Cash Nasty time. I planned it. I wanted him to waste his time. If I would have showed up with me and the niggas that I came with or come with, it would have been a fight. I wasn't going to fight nobody. But somebody was going to get... I would not lie to y'all, bro. I'm telling y'all. Of course I want my million views from Cash Nasty. No matter who I want be one that's going to get a million views. My last video just got a million views. I mean, a half a million views. And I didn't even edit the video. I didn't edit it at all. And it got half a million views. So what makes you think I need Cash Nasty? I could 1v1 fucking Los Polos in that video and get a million views. I don't need Cash Nasty. I don't need Christopher London. It's funny how Christopher London unbanned me on Twitter. Now you want to unban me on Twitter. You had me banned for almost a year. Now you want to unban me on Twitter. Now you want to talk shit. My nigga Big Rail want Christopher London. My nigga Big Rail want Christopher London head right now. He want Christopher London. I told him Christopher London is 6'10". I know these YouTubers not fighters. I'm not a fighter. I fuck mamas. I don't, I'm not about to be out here fighting you. I fuck your mama though. You get what I'm saying? But these YouTubers make videos talking crazy. They gossiping. They Twitter fingers like this. Cash Nasty, his whole crew is Twitter fingers. Look. This is what they do all day. That's what they do. They talk shit all day. That's what they do. But at the end of the day, if it came down to something serious, I think I think Ash would throw hands before Cash Nasty. Cash Nasty is not a fighter. I don't give a fuck how many weights you lift. Cash Nasty into my career 24 7. This nigga still into my career. Getting his attributes up. Lifting weights. I don't give a fuck how many weights you lift. It don't change the fact that you still are trash in basketball. You still get beat up by all type. I could go on cash all day. I could have just dropped a video on them and got the free money, but they would have called me a clout chaser. If I drop a video on them, I'm a clout chaser. But if they drop one on me, it's okay because they got way more subscribers than me. They mad because I don't back down. Cash Nasty, he want me to respect him. I don't respect you, my nigga. At all. My niggas don't respect you either. Cash want me to respect him. Cash tried to OSN me. He tried to do me like he did OSN. Everybody automatically gonna side with Cash Nasty because he got way more subscribers than me. But let's look at them viewers. Is Cash Nasty getting way more viewers than me? Y'all answer this for me. Is he getting way more viewers than me? Or it's around the same? Hey, I do this shit with no effort. I understand why people hate me now. Because my fan base gonna have my back. My fans gonna have my back regardless. The haters gonna watch my videos regardless. I could do whatever I wanna do. What do y'all want me to do? What's next? Niggas posted fake fight videos. I'm still here. Niggas grabbed the video calling me gay. I'm a fufu boy. I'm still here. Now I backed out of a 1v1 that I was going to win and the video was going to get a million subscribers. I'm still here. What's next? What y'all going to do next? Tell me. What y'all going to do next? What, what's next? I'm immortal. I'm a god. I'm one of a kind. I can't be touched. Oh, my fan base is worse than SSH. Now my fan base is worse than SSH. Anybody that's lit with a loyal fan base, 
they automatically gonna call y'all fans fucking cringy and and all type of shit. Y'all mad? Y'all mad because my niggas fuck with me and y'all niggas don't fuck with y'all? Like Los Polos, all Los Polos fans hate him. Los Polos is a doo doo. He's the Los Polos. Ah, my bro, Los Polos. Let me be one hundred percent honest with y'all. My little. My little sister would beat up Los Polos. Los Polos is so irrelevant to me. I spit on him. <laughs> Los Polos is the bow wow of the 2K community. He begs for my attention 24-7 on Twitter and I never respond, do I? Los Polos is literally a kitchen protector, my nigga. You can't even go in his kitchen. Los Polos still get whoopings. Los Polos still get whoopings, y'all. He still live with his mommy. Now, it ain't nothing wrong with living with your mama. But if you lost Polos, there's something wrong with that. If you a lost Polos fan, get the fuck out my stream right now. If you a lost Polos fan and you subscribe to lost Polos Twitch, get the fuck out my stream right now. I don't want you here. Simple. And if you unsubscribe to my channel, you gonna be replaced tomorrow. Simple. Niggas talking my art. He unsubscribed to your channel. You lost 10,000 subscribers. I don't give a fuck. The f I'm supposed to cry? My nigga, I gained more than 2,000 subscribers a day without even posting videos. Why you unsubbing, there's a million people subbing. I don't do YouTube for the subs. I don't do this shit for the subscribers. If I did, I'd stream every day. I'd be a subscriber fiend like these niggas stream 24-7 trying to get subs. I don't have to. I drop bangers, and you watch all my shit, so don't hate on me. If you're going to watch all my videos, do not hate on me. Do not hate on me if you're going to watch all my videos. If you're still going to look at all my streams, do not hate on me. Just sit back, relax, and enjoy the show. I'm immortal. Two for the money and the views. Don't you think I, and the subs. Don't you think I'll be streaming on YouTube 24-7? Don't you think I'll be spamming reaction videos? Don't y'all love my reaction videos? Y'all fuck with them, right? I could sit here and post five or six reaction videos a day and sell myself out like all these other YouTubers that get millions of views, but they get they get mil they got millions of scri subscribers, but getting the same amount of views as me. Hold Which, on, hold on, hold on. What I want y'all to know, Cash Nasty cannot do anything for my channel. I don't even put Cash Nasty in my title. All the videos I made about Cash Nasty, did I put him in my title? Did I put Cash Nasty in my title in all the recent videos I made about him? Yes or no? But they label me as a clout chaser. When you put Cash Nasty in your title, his name don't bring views. If you put my name in your title, Cash Nasty got a million more subscribers than me. Right? Why is we getting the same amount of viewers? All right, but listen. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Why do Cash Nasty got to go get all his buddy buddy YouTubers to make a point? You get what I'm saying? I feel so, I feel, bro. The thing is, the reason why I'm really streaming right now and talk about this, because look, I don't care. What y'all have to understand is, I'm not phased by this at all. Bro, I'm so Luminati. Come on, man. People talking about, yo, you just lost so many subscribers. Why y'all unsub to me? It's like, nah, I don't care. I'm sorry. I ain't trying to hurt nobody feelings, but... But I know at the end of the day, no matter what I do, no matter what I post, niggas still gonna watch my videos regardless. I know at the end of the day, I let all y'all down. I let y'all down. Y'all wanted to go see me drop off Cash Nasty. Y'all wanted to see this 1v1. Of course, I ain't been promoting it, posting videos about it, posting tweets about it, because I had no intentions on going. I know Cash Nasty was in my career getting his attributes, working out, lifting weights, doing all this. Meanwhile, I'm over here drinking, fucking hoes, posting videos, doing what I've been doing. No, let me keep it You get what I'm saying? Let me keep it on. To be 100% honest with y'all, I'm going to be honest with y'all because it's not, it's not, you know what I'm saying? It's not my page. I'm going to be honest. It's bad with business, bro. The nigga told the nigga, oh, we're we going to do it tomorrow. And then he said, August 9th, and I hit the nigga 20 days later. I'm like, bro, yo, fans. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Now, look, hold on, hold on, hold on. That's another thing. People, when I told y'all I haven't talked to Cass Nasty, listen, let me let y'all. Pay close attention. I'm not finna show y'all DMs and screenshots. Finesse. Pay close attention real quick. When Cass Nasty hit me up, I don't reply. 
he's not worth my attention. If he's not talking about hooping, there's no point. Y'all remember when Cash Nasty told y'all that he asked me for a 1v1 and then I showed y'all his DMs and he never did? I hit Cash Nasty up again. We was talking again in the DMs. He hit me up again and he said, we going to hoop August 9th, right? I'm like, all right, cool, August 9th. Bet, we going to hoop August 9th. After that, bro, if I get it, if I hear this shit one more time. After, after Cash Nasty said we was going to hoop August 9th, that's when I found out he made that video about me calling me a scammer, telling all y'all I'm this, I'm that. How you going to sit up here and tell my fans I'm a scammer? And I'll be scamming my fans. And I ran from Christopher London. Christopher London? Christopher London? Bum. Christopher? Bum. Bum. I see the, I seen this shit. Bum. Y'all can Google me. I seen his shit. He a bum. He a bum. Bro. Out of every YouTuber, I wanted to play Christopher London the most. Now, we know Cass Nasty came out of nowhere talking about he wanted 2v2 I me. Really, you know what I'm saying? It ain't even, we ain't about to fight no YouTubers or nothing. Like, I know how y'all. You not. If I see these niggas, I would smack a nigga, bro. Because I know how this shit works now. I've been here for like a, I was, he not, listen, he professional. He's a good, you know what I'm saying? He the cool one. I'm the hot hit out of the cool. If I see some flaw shit, I'm going to address this shit. You feel me? I'm addressing shit because that's who I am, nigga. I'll smack every single one because they fall. They not real, bro. They not real, bro. And look, the crazy thing is, I told y'all that I didn't want to go play Cash Nasty because if I went to go play Cash Nasty, the people I was coming with was coming for a whole other reason. I, all I want to do is entertain y'all. I don't fight no more. I fuck mamas. I'm not finna fight no YouTubers. I do. I'm not finna fight Cash Nasty over no fucking videos that he made on YouTube. But the people who see the videos that are with me Feel some type of way about it. Now, I'm not going to go out and fight Cash Nasty and do this and do that. It's no point. But people that hang around me who see all this shit, if I would have went to Cash Nasty, and this is not the reason that I didn't go. I didn't go because I just didn't go. I don't care. Simple. But if I would have went, it would have been more than a 1v1 going on. It would have been some type of... Facts. It would have been something going on, bro. Facts. I don't like the nigga. If, I don't like I'm the nigga. not going to fight nobody. I, I don't need like to. the nigga. But it would have been something going on. And that's what I want all y'all to know. I didn't back out of the 1v1 because I'm scared of Cash Nasty. He's Cash Nasty. I don't like this. He's, he's trash. Google me. I, ain't I, I didn't fight. 1v1 him because I just didn't feel like it. I'm going to be 100 with you. I didn't 1v1 him because I didn't feel like it. If you mad, get it together, my nigga. Stop acting like a bitch because I'm not going nowhere. If you unsub to my channel, I don't care. I gain... Thousands of subscribers a day without posting videos. Bro, we just recorded like think four I care? bangers this weekend. They don't know about the 1v1s. Hold on, hold on. I didn't post, I didn't, I got so much IRL footage. And it's so crazy because I'm the one who only got 300k. Why do Cass Nasty got to get all his buddies? He got Christopher London. All of a sudden, Christopher London unblocked me on Twitter. He unblocked me on Twitter. Now he, not Christopher London, Christopher London like this. Twitter fingers just talking crazy. He had me blocked since January. I ain't got no Twitter fingers. Christopher nigga. London girlfriend got, no got me blocked. Fingers. Why Christopher London girlfriend blocked me? Why you block me? I got hands though. What I do to you? Why yeah, Christopher bro. London girlfriend block me? Ask about me. I swear to God. Why Cass Nasty in my DMs talking about delete? Y'all, y'all know how y'all post all these little memes of of Cass Nasty and his girlfriend. This nigga DM. I retweeted one of y'all tweets. He DM me talking about delete the tweet. If you don't, I'm going to put out this gay video I found for you. Nigga, I don't give a fuck what video you put out of me. Because at the end of the day, I'm so <laughs> I'm immortal. I got one of the littest fan bases in the world. I don't like talking shit. Drama bring views. I love drama. You know what I'm saying? Y'all see, I ain't dropped no videos about this. I know all my niggas mad because they wanted to see me dunk on Cash Nasty. Easy. And expose Easy. them to the world. Easy. But I chose not to. Now y'all mad at me because I, I gave them a pass? All of a sudden, I'm shook because I didn't want to play Cash Nasty. All of a sudden, I'm scared to make a million views and I'm scared to make all this money off our video. I'm scared of Cash Nasty. I guess. But Cash Nasty's the one who's in my... Who, this nigga Cash Nasty is in his third year of my career. He been into my career since last month. He trying to work on them attributes, baby. But listen, they don't understand the small. Cash Nasty in the gym going crazy. Meanwhile, I'm out here being a thot. I'm sorry. Once again, I apologize to all y'all for not 1v1ing Cash Nasty. 
I didn't buy no ticket. I was just doing me. We got how many videos do we got recorded? IRLs. At least four. At least four. I've been grinding for y'all. I I made a post on Twitter like, bro, I'm finna post a video, and I decided not to because it's not the right time. I got people editing videos for me. I got so many bangers for y'all. But meanwhile, everybody is focused on this cash nasty situation. I never, I, I ain't made no posts or nothing to nobody saying that I'm going to go play Cash Nasty. Of course, everybody expect me to go play him. Of course, I told y'all in my last video, I'm going to save my 1v1 for Cash Nasty. But if I up and decide, okay, I don't want to go play him. I'm chilling. I'm still in Cali. I'm, I wanna, I'm just chilling. I don't need his views. I don't need him. But hold on, hold on. Let me see something. Why is it a big deal? Let me see something. Let me see something. Because all your kid, all your people is younger. Okay, picture if you're going, let's say Disney World. With one of your friends, something simple, you know what I'm saying? And then you hear one of your friends you went to Disney World in two weeks, and he said, "Oh, the nigga I'm going to Disney World with is a lame." You not gonna end up going to Disney World because he's talking bad upon your name. You know what I'm saying? He talking bad upon your name. You know what I'm saying? So you never go. The nigga, the nigga act like he taking you somewhere, or the nigga doing something, but he not. He's sitting there acting like he doing something, bro. He finessing y'all. That's why no, I don't like the nigga. Let me ask no, you all the question. That's hold why on. I don't like one the nigga. Thing, bro. One more thing. He, bro, hold on, hold on, hold on. One more thing. Hold on, one more thing. Bro, no. hold, on, hold, on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Bro. I haven't had no conversations about Cash Nasty regarding this 1v1. Only thing I said to Cash Nasty, he said, we gonna hoop August 9th. This was like 20, day, 20 23 days ago. I was like, At least. I was here. And then listen, I was after, here. after I noticed that he made them lying videos about me, that's when I closed the chapter. I said, it's a done deal with him. It's personal now. But now you disrespect me. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Hold on, hold on. Hold on. How the fuck did it go from a regular basketball 1v1 to I'm a scammer and I'm this and I'm that? We was talking about hooping. Why I got to be a scammer and a liar and all this now? All we was talking about was basketball. Bro, he elevated. I feel like you should elevate. The nigga, first of all, it was friendly. You get a nigga respect. You get a nigga respect. Hold on, hold on. One more thing. Hold on, one more thing. Bro. I showed Cash Nasty so much love. I told him he was my motivator. I, lo I love his content. I never disrespected Cash Nasty outside of basketball. How come when he dropped videos, I'm a scammer? He lied to all his fans. He ain't, he this, he that. I'm glad y'all see the truth about Solomonati. All y'all niggas know I put y'all first before anybody. Who I fuck with? Who have I ever collabed with? Have I ever did a collab with anybody? No. Only people I fuck with is Luminati Gang. People talking about, oh, Solomonati fans is cringy. His fans worse than SSH. That's what niggas say when they start hating on you. What y'all should do, instead of hating on me, instead of bitching, you should wish your fans was like mine, my nigga. If your fans fuck with you, like my fans fuck with me, that's what you should try to do instead of hating on me. Cash Nasty and them got a million fucking subscribers, and they worried about what the fuck I'm doing. He got millions, and he worried about what I'm doing. Let's not forget Los Polos. Los Polos! Who was that? <laughs> Listen, I heard about a lot of...